Hello and welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Today we're looking at Round Off Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ. So my, my name is Bill Murphy. It is my pleasure, nay, my honor to be solving this puzzle for you today. Uh, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create and solve our own genuinely approachable Sudoku. They're free for you down in the description down below. I mean, you can pay money on Patreon if you really want, but like we do this every day. Uh, out of the love of our hearts and occasionally winding people up when they can't guess the secret August pattern. Um, so, uh, yeah, down in the description, you'll find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Uh, now, that being said, let's get into it. So, Normal Sudoku rules apply. So each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, each cage contains a two digit number read from left to right. The clue in the left corner of that cage tells you the result of rounding that uh, two digit number to the nearest 10. Uh, five or higher gets rounded up, four or less gets rounded down. So, um, as an example, uh, 20 could be as high as 25, but it could also be as, uh, uh, it could be as low as 15, but it could also be as high as 24. Um, hope that makes sense. Uh, this one's fun. I like round off Sudoku. I spent a bunch of time trying to make one earlier this year. Uh, so I have some tips. If you want to get some tips, uh, stick around. Otherwise, try it yourself. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to get going. So, uh, with round off Sudoku, the thing that you know is one of two things. You know that every tens digit is one of two possible candidates. Every single one of them is one of two possible candidates. Either it's the number that leads in the cage or it has to round up. Um, so like 80 could either be seven or eight because it could be as high as 84 uh, or as low as 75. Now, we know a couple of things, uh, and we know that we can never put a zero in a Sudoku grid. So if we have a 10, it either has to be zero or one, which means it must be one. So let's go through the uh, grid and just put all our uh, tens in. And there's one down there too. Now, we have some 20s. Um, and Weirdly, it's almost like this is by design. Every one of those twenties sees a one. Uh, this, these two see that one. This one sees uh, looks down here, meaning it can't be one or two. It must be two. Now, what about our thirties? So we have a three there, a three there, and a three there. Uh, just double checking, I haven't missed any of them. No, that's correct. Um, meaning. Uh, it's so silly when once you see it, but this two, this two, see that two and that two, and this two sees that two as well. So, uh, oh, that 30 is seen by this two is what I meant. Uh, meaning, ta-da, it works like that. Now, uh, because we know that these have to round down, that's three and four. This is one and four. This is three and four. Um... And yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Now, what's this? Oh, okay, wait, what's, what's that? That's a, oh, let's look at our forties. Um, <laughs> oh God, um, uh, that's, that's how I know I feel like I'm in my early thirties. Cause I'm like, let's look at my forties. Maybe those will be better. Um, these two forties see these two threes. So they can't be threes. So they must be fours now because that four looks up here means that this has to round up, uh, four, three, four, one. Um, by the power of Sudoku. Now, uh, this is two and four. Uh, both of these have to round down, so they're one and two. Uh, now, and because both of those have to, oh, and that's two and four. Now, because both of these have to round down, these also need to be one and two. That's two, that's one. And now, you'll notice that we have a pattern going. Um, 
all of the uh oh sorry i've made a small error there um now if i can't put a seven uh now i can't put a seven or an eight in uh i can't put a seven there and an eight there because one two three and four are taken it means no matter what i do it must always round up which means that this must be a six and a seven so these i can put to mark in as five eight nine similarly one two three four here means that this has to be five and this has to be six uh seven eight nine over here uh these have to be five and eight making a six eight nine uh I can't, uh, yep. Oh, no, sorry, six, seven, nine. Ugh. Uh, and similarly, these also have to round up, meaning this is six and eight. Uh, this has to round up, meaning it is seven and six. Uh, so that is now five, eight, nine. Fat finger error. Uh, this cell sees five and seven, meaning this must be nine. So this is eight, and we'll put do that. Uh, this must be five, meaning this is eight and nine. Uh, you can't put a five in this cell. Uh, now, this has to be either four or five, but it can't be four because I've got a four in the box. So that means that this is five, meaning this cell has to round down. So this is two and four, two or four. Uh, so that's two, four, and now we can unwind a bunch of this uh three uh three has to round up um but uh this also has to round up now so um we are just doing some sudoku to finish off uh, to honestly just finish off this puzzle but um i really really appreciate how clover put this one together i think this is an absolute bagger um and round off sudoku is one of those puzzles where you can just do a bunch of really cool things um Eight and six, uh, nine, nine, uh, seven down here. Clean up the sevens over there. Uh, now, uh, this is four and five. I can do that because I've got a four in column three. So that's four and five, which comes down here. Seven and five, seven and nine, eight and nine. Uh, whew. Uh, this is four, five, seven. I can do four seven over here and then five over here uh this is one five seven a place uh five and seven in column seven tell us which way around this goes that's seven and five uh eight and five two and one uh nine eight nine six uh two three six uh and then seven eight one uh seven oh uh, two, nine, and three, and four, six, and three, meaning that is round off Sudoku by Clover. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I think that one is an absolute banger. Um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Don't forget to drop a hat time in the comments for every hat that's earned. Be Betty gets one pat. Betty is my greyhound. She's right there. Um, and uh wherever you are in the world have a great weekend i will see you next time cheers